Now, Wimbledon uh, got underway today. Britain's best hope, Andy Murray, plays tomorrow. And there is hope that the next British tennis star could come from the Midlands. Jay Clark has just been crowned Europe's number one in the under-14s. He started playing when he was just three and has big ambitions. Like millions of others, Jay Clark and his family love watching Wimbledon. But unlike most of us, he's aiming to live the dream of one day playing there. Jay is 13 and has just become Europe's top-ranked under-14s player. An impressive achievement, but perhaps less surprising when you meet his family. Dad, Errol, first put a racket in Jay's hand when he was just three. Older brother Curtis is his regular training partner, while sister Yasmin is his coach. Play for me legs. Better, that's much better. Well, my sister started and basically I just started playing and I really enjoyed it. And so I entered my first tournament and I did really well and so I just, just went from there really. Better. Inside out. Good feet, good feet, good feet. Oh. Sometimes he doesn't listen but we actually get on really well. We travel well together and yeah, I like, know a lot. I've got a lot of experience so I can help him with, with, with the tournaments. And the tournaments he goes to are the ones I used to do which is quite handy as well. You must argue sometimes. We do sometimes, but I think there's quite a good relationship between us all because we all want to improve, we all want to get better, and we all want to just help each other get better. And Jay's improved a lot lately, so it clearly is working. The family unit is impressive. Mum is also involved, which allows Jay the freedom to be homeschooled and train every day. I do two hours in the morning, and then I have something to eat, do my school work for two hours, and then I go back on court, and then do hours of fitness, and then I'm done for the day. And all the work is paying off. These trophies collected in just three weeks. His prized possession would be this trophy here. This one, he won in Rome, and it took him to number one in the rankings in Europe. It makes me very proud. He's worked very hard. Two years of real hard work out there, and um, it's beginning to pay. So Wimbledon one day, but for now, Jay's getting used to being Europe's number one, a title he won't want to relinquish any time soon. And I can just say, Bob's been, Bob knows his tennis as well, and he's sitting here saying terrific forehand. Yeah. And it's a real family affair, that, isn't it's it? It's brilliant, isn't it? I mean, I, I was saying that when you hear these stars from America and wherever else, you always yes. find out they started playing when they were three and that the whole family are involved. Look at the Williams sisters. Well, I was just going to mention that. Yeah. That remind, he reminded me very much of their situation. And I think this is our discovery. I know we meet sports stars, we always hope they're going to do well, but it's the, it's the, the, the life he leads. You know, yes. he's coached full-time, trains every day, and he's big. He's only 13. Look at his height yes. and his maturity in that Does interview. Does he go to school and so on? He's schooled at home. No he's schooled at home. So that frees him up to, to, to train four hours a day in the gym, and they've, they've even learned from Andy Murray when he he burst on the scene, great player, but wasn't fit enough. Mm. I tell you what, Jay's not going to have that problem. He's super but fit. This is yeah. the only way we're going to grow champions, isn't it? And let's it hope is we do, because we've seen him here first. Yeah, the lowest one. Great. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wish him all the best, Steve. Thank you very much.